are what we are, and what we are is an illusion. We love how it feels, putting on heels, causing confusion. La, 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 la. It's a musical which has got values which are very important to me. Values which our country espouses. Values like tolerance, diversity, acceptance, understanding, family, and of course, love. We are what we are, and what we are is an illusion. We love how it keeps putting on his causing confusion. Good morning Singapore, I'm Emily Oles, your friendly host of performing arts blog Urban Cool It and I have with me a man who needs no introduction, Hosan Leong. Hello. <laughs> Hosan is here with us to talk about a wonderful musical which is coming up on 20th July called La Cage au Fol. Am Very I pronouncing good. that? Yes, yes? perfect. You Thank know, you. a lot of people like, put the S at the end, La Cage au Fols. But, um, and my friends are like, what's this musical in La Cage, La Cage? I'm like, it's La Cage, it's French. Um, but <laughs> there you go, you know, you learn something new every day. <laughs> well, no one is uh, so as exposed to French culture. I think uh, Hassan is a bit of um, a is a bit of a Franco background. File. Francophile, yes, self-proclaimed, but also he's been proclaimed as something by the French government. I just discovered, preparing for this, that he is somewhat of a French knight. Can you confirm this? Yes, um, the, the, the French uh, Ministry of uh, Culture and the Arts conferred um, Chevalier uh, the Lord that they asked that they left, which is um, the, the, the arts um, knighthood on me and um, I was very very chuffed, very touched. Mm. Um, of course, completely surprised me, I didn't expect it at all. Um, and um, yeah, so people ask me, can you cut you when you go to immigration in France? No. <laughs> Singaporean asked you that, I'm sure. Definitely, yes, confirm. Of course, thank you. Just yes, the, what they want to do every day of their yes. life. Yes. But um, yes, uh, so how did you get to be to be an, a French knight? So what? what <laughs> I, now um, we're doing something. You're doing something yeah. based um, on a French musical. Exactly. So how, how much French work have you done? Um, well, I I studied a, a, a French, you know, and, yes. and um, wanted to kind of bring a bit of the French culture back to Singapore mm. and, and, because people have this misconception that French people are, you know, X, Y, Z, mm. you know, and I do want to dispel all those misconceptions and um, bring a bit of music, a bit of the arts, a bit of the, the, the culture. And so we decided to do shows like that, give, do a tribute to Edith Piaf, mm. um, sing French songs, do French theatre, but in, in English, in Singapore, with mm. Singaporean artists. Um, that was more than once as well. Really yeah, yeah, well no, we, did it, we did it a yeah. few times yeah. and uh, we're really well received. The French mm. people, at first they were very apprehensive, like, how dare you touch Edith Piaf, she's an icon. Oh. And, um, but they fell in love with the, mu the, the show we did, the, the music is mm. of course, you know, wonderful. Mm. And um, I guess that's how it kind of, you know, started the ball rolling. Mm. And now, doing La Cage au Fall, originally it was um, a, a play, a yes. French play done into a French movie. Mm -hmm. Then the Americans of course took it and made it into a, a Hollywood movie. And then someone on Broadway said, let's make it into a musical. Mm -hmm. And so here we are doing La Cage au Fall, the musical, our way. Snakes live together male and female. Cats live together male and female. We are human beings, we know better. Oh, what would you talk about? Well, what do we talk about? You can't reason with him he's like this, run fool, run. But, uh, Albert, I really love her. So why must I hear about it from my from the streets? Why must I hear about my own son out there? I was so excited to hear about it because it's such a glitzy yeah. kind of cabaret kind of musical and that's you know right up my alley and I was uh, amazed here that Wild Rice was doing it. So yeah, very exciting stuff. Yeah. And Rosanne is playing a character which is also close to my heart. Really? Uh, yes, yes. I love maids. <laughs> <laughs> I just play Doreen and Tartuffe. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. So I think we have something in common and you know maids always know what's going on. So yes. you're playing Claude, Claudine. Actually, um, actually the character, yourself? the character his name is Jacob or mm. Jacob as ah. he likes to call himself and of course you know uh, he always insists on being called the maid even though George the main character always says no you are the butler and it's like no I'm not the butler I'm the maid um, I, the, I provide the comic relief yes. basically you know when things are a bit tense mm. in the household um, Jacob comes on and does this and then everyone just cracks up 
Um, it's a really fun character to play, mm. and uh, Ivan and Glenn said we we are counting on you to steal every scene that you're in. So I said, okay, you say one, huh? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna take all the laughs, huh? Don't 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 scold me after that, huh? And no holes barred. No holes barred. Yeah, sing for um, audiences, be ready. Yeah. So it's gonna be fun. I mean, I, I I seldom get to play such an such a flamboyant character. No, yeah, oh. I play all the time, but yeah. Yes. <laughs> But this time uh, with an apron. <laughs> with an apron and yes. a feather duster um, and little short shorts. So I'm gonna go to the gym and get my legs toned and shave them. But I think um, can already, right? Can uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, just keep it yeah, all in there. Mm. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so it's it, when when I Glenn called me last year and said, "Hey, uh, we're doing La Cage Fall. Would mm. you like to play uh, a bee in it?" I said, "Oh, who else is in it? Oh, so far Ivan." I'm like, "Oh, wow, thanks. <laughs> um, who am I?" And he goes, um, "The maid." Immediately I went, "Okay." You know, if you know, I saw Hank Azaria do Birdcage, and mm. Hank Azaria was so funny. And so, so the Birdcage was based on that. Yeah, yeah? it was based mm -hmm. on La Cage Fall, and I thought, "Wow," you know. I, I'm stepping into the shoes of like Hank Azaria and mm. all these wonderful people that played it, so it's, yes. Ah, look, we still have an hour before the second show. Let's say we go for a little walk, huh? I can't possibly take another tiny little step. <laughs> With me, you could. Well, no, I couldn't. Life is a celebration with you on my young That's because you're not listening. Not that listening. Life is a celebration with you on my young It's worth the aggravation with you on my young That's because you always did bounce back quicker than I. That's because I'm all limber. You always were. Each time I face a morning that's boring And land with you, it looks good ah, ah, You can with you, it looks great If you want me with you, it looks grand Singapore audience, what is the story about? Well, you know, La Cage au Fall is not just like people think. It's a, not just a drag show. Mm. It's about it's about family. It's about who who you you choose to to love mm. and who you choose to want to be happy with. Yes. And at the end of the day, people say, "Oh, you know, you can't choose your father and mother." Mm. You're wrong. You can. You can choose whether you want them to be your father or mother or not. Because at the end of the day. Like this story, Jonathan gets left on the doorstep by his mother back to George. Yeah. So who brings him up? George and Alban. Yes. Who has his real mother? Don't know. You know. So um, at the end of the day, Jonathan has to make a choice who who is who he thinks his real parents are. And mm. I think it's very important for all of us to be aware that you know you choose whether you decide to be happy or not. Yeah. If you say you know my life sucks, blah 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 blah. Well, it's a choice you make that your life sucks. Mm. Um, I think it's important for us to, to open our eyes and look at our lives differently every day when we get up and say, today I choose to be happy. I choose not to get upset by the irritating people on MRT or mm. you know the auntie at the upper center or blah 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 blah. Mm. Um, and I find that it makes me have a happier person. It makes me be, me, uh, you know, I'm able to interact on a positive level with people every day that I meet. So, and that's how I want to live my life and that's how La Cage Fall is all about. It's about being positive accepting and I think the word love is always somewhere in every song that we sing. Yeah, so it's not just glitz and glamour, no, although there's plenty no. of that, we just we, saw we a wonderful chorus yeah. line there that you're heart pounding. Yes, <laughs> yes, must, must have. But yeah, there's the themes of love and choices. I think Oprah yeah. Winfrey said we, we, we have to choose what to find in life to celebrate. Exactly. So, yeah. There you go. Like that. Just like that. Just like that. So, you know, choose to come and watch La Cage Fall because you won't be disappointed. 
It looks wonderful. Yeah. I just saw a little preview. I'll <laughs> show you to that. And um, I also saw your costume and yes. I'm envious of that. So yes, what more can you ask for? You've got glitz, you've got glamour, you've got themes of love, family, yeah. choices, empowerment, as well yeah. as celebration. Of course, definitely. Celebration of family. Yes. So Singapore, it starts very soon. It starts on July 20th and it runs for, I believe, it two runs, weeks. Yeah, all the way to the 4th of August. Um, yeah, so it's, you've got lots of time. Get your tickets because you know don't be like last minute. Ah, I don't want tickets, but you yeah. chose to be late, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. You just say Zachary. I say Zachary. Uh, what? Well, really? Yeah. I say Zachary all the time. You do? I do. Oh my God. It's strange. It's an Old Testament thing. Yeah. You know, really? Yeah. Zachariah. Exactly. Yeah. Zachariah said uh, yeah. Zachary. Yeah. So <laughs> Exactly. So yes, um, if this has been another random Urban Coolant interview. Random. Yes, <laughs> I'm so happy to have met you. No, likewise. Then, Thank you. This is Emily Olas, and this is Urban Coolant. Don't forget to watch Lakash. Tickets are available on Cystic. We'll see you soon.